It's the Bristol Show 2014 and over 150 hi-fi brands come into the building behind me to show off all their newest and latest kit. Here's our pick of some of the best. Following its international debut at CES, new British hi-fi brand Michelin Johnson was showing off its entire range for the first time in the UK. On show was everything from its £30 Bluetooth 3.0 adapter, moving up across its range that includes amplifiers, music streamers, DACs, a CD player, a DAB FM tuner and a pair of headphones. Its kit might look pricey, but the Michelin Johnson Hi-Fi Separates lineup starts at just £230 for its entry-level amp. Also making its UK debut is the Zodiac Platinum DSD DAC and Volticus Power Supply, shown alongside a prototype of the new Audiophile 10M Atomic Clock. The Zodiac Platinum builds on last year's Zodiac Gold model by adding DSD compatibility and upsampling. Due to launch in the UK in April, we got a first look at Primair's new Luxury 60 Series Pre and Power Amp. The Pre 60 is a reference audiophile dual mono preamp with integrated DAC, while the A60 is a fully balanced 2x250 watt UFPD stereo power amp, offering a high power output through four discrete amplifiers. Costing £6,500 a piece, they're a major step up from the company's 30 series and put Primair firmly back in the high end market. Speaking of high end, Odyssey was showing off its first pair of closed back headphones, the $1,800 LCD XC. Developed over several years, they certainly look the part, made from hand-worked bibinga wood with a choice of either premium lambskin leather or leather-free microfiber ear cups. Musical Fidelity used the Bristol Show to demo its V90 Blue Bluetooth adapter, an aptX compatible receiver with upsampling DAC that allows you to stream music from your laptop and mobile devices direct to your hi-fi system. It was shown alongside its new power amp as well, the M8500S. Another product making its debut at Bristol was the Quad Vena amp with integrated DAC. It offers Aptex Bluetooth connectivity alongside an extensive range of inputs and outputs, with its Class AB power amp offering 45 watts per channel into 8 ohms. It's expected to cost around £600 from May. It's always nice to see a crowdfunded campaign come to fruition, and the LH Labs Geek Out is a prime example of that. Hitting its Kickstarter goal of $28,000 in just over 10 hours, this USB DAC and headphone amp went on to raise over $300,000 in 30 days. Claiming to be the most advanced, most powerful USB audio device on the market, it's capable of high-res audio up to 32-bit, 384 kHz, can decode DSD audio natively, and will power any headphones you can throw at it. Finally, we got a look at two new turntables at Bristol 2014. First up, the new Rager RP10, featuring the new RB2000 tone arm, a ceramic flywheel effect platter, and the RP10 custom power supply, promising to offer the highest performance of a Rager turntable to date. To mark its 25th anniversary, Wilson Burness showcased its new Circle 25 turntable, refining the design of its classic Circle deck to include white finishing across the plinth and bearing hubs, though a black version will be available later. It'll cost £1,750 on its own, or is available as a package with a new ACT-05 tone arm for £3,345. For more news, videos and photos from the Bristol Show 2014, head over to whathifi.com and be sure to let us know your favourites from the show by leaving a comment below. For more from What Hi-Fi, be sure to hit subscribe and don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and add us on Google+.